Marijuana is the most commonly used drug in the country. And while many studies have focused on the potential medicinal benefits, new research looks at a way to help those who have become dependent on the drug. CBS correspondent Christian Benavides reports. 27 year old Roosevelt Bennett says he struggled to get tasks accomplished after becoming dependent on marijuana. He says he used the drug since he was 17. I was smoked more often and also uh, wouldn't get as much things done. So when he learned about a drug trial to treat the overuse of marijuana, he took a chance. The higher my tolerance got, the more I just continued to smoke. With the growing advent of legalization of marijuana, there is this thought that people can't be addicted to marijuana. Dr. Rishi Kakar is chief scientific officer and medical director for Seagal Trials, which is conducting the study. It affects their function, it affects their work, it affects their learning, it affects their relationships. Estimates show about 60 million people had cannabis use disorder in 2021, and the risk of developing dependence is higher for people who started using marijuana during adolescence. The CDC warns marijuana use could negatively impact the health of your brain, heart, and lungs. In the case of Bennett, who is a content creator, he says his productivity suffered. But after participating in the study, for which he was paid $2,000, he says he saw a marked improvement. Bennett doesn't know if he actually received the drug or a placebo, but he thinks he did. I wasn't smoking as much. I noticed that I was getting more things accomplished, um, especially like... I finish my website and I create more. Bennett admits he still occasionally smokes, but not nearly as much as before, and hopes sharing his story can help others. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. Well, there isn't currently an approved pharmacological treatment for people who have cannabis use disorder. This drug would be the first.